IKEA, the Swedish furniture retail giant, has bought TaskRabbit, a San Francisco startup that lets people hire workers to do short-term odd jobs, like setting up IKEA furniture, fixing a leaky faucet, or setting up for a party. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but Recode, which first reported the acquisition, noted that previous acquisitions by IKEA have ranged in price from $20 million to $90 million. As urbanization and digital transformation continue to challenge retail concepts, we need to develop the business faster and in a more flexible way, IKEA CEO Jesper Braden said in a statement. And acquisition of TaskRabbit would be an exciting leap in this transformation and allows us to move forward with an even greater focus on innovation and development to meet changing customer needs. For now, TaskRabbit services, where each worker sets their own rates, but the company takes 20%, are available in 40 American cities and in London. The majority of its American workers, or taskers as the company dubs them do not receive any health or retirement benefits, as is typical in so-called gig economy jobs. While TaskRabbit itself has not been sued in federal court by any of its workers so far, other companies in the industry have been. Numerous labor cases filed against Uber were recently heard at the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeal in San Francisco. It seems unlikely that Swedish business culture will have any impact on TaskRabbit's workers, the overwhelming majority of whom are ad hoc contractors. Sweden, which generally lacks a similar gig economy environment, boasts universal public health care and housing and child care subsidies. Employees in Sweden are required to be provided a minimum of five weeks paid annual leave, and wages are typically set by annual collective bargaining. According to IKEA's statement, TaskRabbit will remain an independent company and will remain in San Francisco, as such, its taskers are rent considered to be employees. The taskers are not employed by TaskRabbit or IKEA Group, Mona Liss, an IKEA spokeswoman, told ours. However, in general, IKEA supports good working conditions. We are really excited about this acquisition. We look forward to working with the competent, impassionate TaskRabbit team and innovate the way in which IKEA customers can access services. In March 2014, TaskRabbit founder Invencio Lee Busk told ours that she wanted the company to work on a global scale. There's so much opportunity and potential that we can realize we are 20,000 in the U.S. Can we empower 1 million people on the TaskRabbit platform to build out their own businesses, she said. Busk also said I think the uniqueness and the value it is the in-person experience, particularly in an on-demand way. But that's really the challenge that I want to solve delivering in-person, on-demand. I think our goal is becoming a global company and expanding our categories and building out more categories across the platform and going deeper on those categories. For example, we have a certain number of handymen. Can we multiply them 10 times for handyman in a given area? This post originated on Ars Technica.